Hey everyone, it's Jamie Pearson, uh, Jamie P Nation. Thanks for joining me today. I've been thinking about buyers a lot lately. I think buyers are going to be a very important part of the market in 2017. And with uh, the rising interest rates, I think uh, buyers should be focusing on a couple of tried and true rules that I think have uh, really um, uh, stood the test of time. Um, I've got three rules that I would suggest, and those three rules are, um, number one is stay away from shared driveways and flag lots. Uh, they don't really have a great resale, and I think that um, if the market tightens up a little bit, those kind of um, scenarios are going to probably sit on the market a little uh, longer. Unless you can really make a really great buy on them and you can get into a neighborhood you couldn't normally afford, I would really stay away from shared driveways and flag lots. And for those of you that don't know what a flag lot is, a flag lot is a lot uh, that is part of another person's property that you have, uh, you can enter and exit out of, but your house is either located off to the side or behind it. And uh, we don't see a lot of them here in my neighborhood, but uh, they are out there. And uh, every time I get one that's that I put it on the market, um, a lot of the buy, buying public uh, is not interested in it. And so if you get in a tight market, I don't want you to get stuck in that. Um, the second rule that I think is really, really important is uh, money in kitchen baths. Um, if you're going to spend money in remodeling or you're going to spend extra for a house, for amenities and, and things that have already been remodeled, go for high-end kitchens, go for high-end um, uh, baths. Um, what they put into those rooms I think are really, really important. And um, in remodeling, when you put money into kitchen and baths, you uh, actually get twice as much money out of it. So if you spend $100,000 in a kitchen, uh, you should you should get $200,000 out of that on resale. Um, high-end appliances, high-end uh, tiles um, and fixtures um, are really, really important. So that's uh, what I think is the second most important rule. And the last more, most important rule, and it's probably something you've heard time and time again, is location, location, location. Buying the best location you can in any market that you're in is probably the most important rule you can have as a buyer. Location drives the market. Um, when the market went into the tank um, in the 2000s on the mortgage meltdown, um, the neighborhoods that were in prime location, the Studio Cities, the Santa Monica's, the Beverly Hills, the Las Feliz's, all held their value better than any other market around it. And the reason was because people wanted that location in any market. So if it means buying a condo because you can get into Studio City and walk to the farmer's market uh, rather than buying a house in maybe in an outlining neighborhood, I would vote for the condo in Studio City. I think it's just uh, always put your money in the best location you have. So those that's it. Pretty simple. Those top three rules have, um, have uh, been very important for the last 35 years. I imagine they're going to be around for the next 35 years. And uh, thanks for your time, and I hope you have a terrific day.